with so far. We've got uh, all four bowls on the intake roughed out um, on the long side of the port, the top side of the port. Um, pretty rough, a lot of chatter. That's fine. Uh, you can see it's pretty consistent. There's this indentation there in the port. It's all there on, on from port to port. This one's a little lighter. But don't worry about that. We're going to go over these with stones and, and various other, uh, maybe a, a different carbide burr we hit in there, but that's fine. This is so far looking great. We're going to go ahead and turn the head over and hit the short side. Okay, so now we're on the short side of the port. Um, get the camera to focus. There we go. As you can see, we've already started blending into the seat on the long side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to blend that down, uh, knock that ridge out, and cut into the seat. We're going to go ahead and smooth this. And the short side on these are not bad. I mean, GM does a pretty nice job on these things. Uh, from the factory. That's why it's kind of an upgrade head, the two-go upgrade head for the LS guys. Not like I know because I'm not really an LS1 guy. But uh, we'll go ahead and get hacking at that. Again, the important part is we're trying to keep all this concentric. We're trying to keep the whole circle of the bowl uh, as round as we possibly can. Uh, the best way to do this is to, to do it in a seat and guide machine and drop a cutter in there, but uh, this is for budget home, uh, home porters, and this is how we're so doing here's it. here's what we ended up with. We got the short side cut in, and we started blending it to the, the long side. Um, and again, we're trying to keep the throat of the port as concentric as we can. That's not going to be perfect, not with this cut, but we'll go in there with the stones and make it as good as we can. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and tackle the valve guide boss. So here's the infamous uh, 243 valve guide boss. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove some material around there, make it uh, as smooth as possible. Um, Make it so the air just wants to flow down through the throat. Let me turn the cylinder head around. You can see the front side for before and after. Um, so there's no specific uh, way I do it. I just try to remove material. Um, I'm sure everybody could go online and look at... Um, what other CNC cylinder heads look like and you could make your own profile from there. The main thing is just to be consistent. It's kind of the reason why I do all the ports at the same time so I have the same motions and stuff uh, for each port. 